Hello everybody and welcome to this video. So I'm going to be doing a review of the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation. I am going to be doing a review of that foundation. If you can hear anything it's just the TV upstairs. What I've done so far is I've just done my eyebrows and my eyes and that is literally everything and tied my hair up um, just to get my hair on my face. So I am going to do a review of the foundation. It isn't a new foundation, it's been out for a while, a long while, like years, but every time I get a new foundation I just want to review it and I just want to kind of do like my little thing about whether I like it or not in comparison to others. Obviously this has been out for a while, but yeah, like I said, this is the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation and it's 30 mil. I've got mine in the shade Coyote Blossom number 15. I am gonna talk about shade ranges, what the foundation is, everything like that after I've actually applied it so that you can kind of see it. But for now, we are just gonna to get to kind of applying it. If you are interested, I did prime using this. This is actually not a technical primer. This is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, which literally, like, I think Nikki Tutorials on YouTube literally used this, like, a few years ago once, and then everyone started using it for a while as a primer, and then they stopped, so I just used this recently just because and Jamie also uses it like after he shaves and stuff so I just thought I would show you that and also the eyeshadow palette that I used was this one from Revolution it's the Reloaded Passion for Colour palette this is actually one of my favourite palettes so I might do like a tutorial using this because there's some nice shades in there but yeah that's what I used if you're interested so yeah, I'm gonna do half my face with a sponge and then half my face with a brush so that you can see the difference between the two. And I will also be doing a wear test throughout the day, show you, just kind of show you how it looks and everything like that throughout the day. So let's get applying. Now I only use one pump of this. It's definitely a medium coverage foundation. So you can use more and build it up, but I've been fine with less coverage. Um, my skin is okay today. It doesn't look as great because the lighting's a bit off and it makes everything like show, but it's not the greatest. I did forget to do my skincare routine last night. But anyway, I'm just gonna pop this around my face. It is a very fresh foundation in terms of like how it is quite dewy, but you'll see that in a second. this side I'm just going to use my beauty sponge this is from real techniques so this is just a real technique sponge I think using a sponge instead of a brush makes it look less streaky and also it does take away a little bit of coverage so it's definitely more coverage if you've got a brush than if you use this but only a little bit I do prefer using sponge actually I've got a mirror so I should probably use that um, but yeah I'm just going to blend it in is quite light I would actually say that this is definitely a light to medium coverage but I kind of like it like the way it blends in it looks quite natural rather than like what I'm used to which is like really full coverage foundations hello there it's quite hard to just do half your face <laughs> but we'll try it but yeah it blends in super super easy as you can see the coverage is not high but that's completely fine also when my skincare is like really good i don't need a high coverage foundation and just put concealer in the areas where it's needed okay so this is this side it looks very dewy the skincare that i do is quite glowy anyway so my hair is quite annoying me because it doesn't look the greatest <laughs> sorry my skin looks very dewy as you can see that this foundation is the, the fact that it's got the word fresh in it just screams dewy to me anyway so that's probably why but also my skincare routine is all about glow and everything like that all the products i use are really glowy and i'm fine with that although i do have oily skin you'd probably think why am i doing that or why am i using these products but i i like how this looks and um and i, I don't know i like it but if i was going on a night out i wouldn't use this foundation i would use a heavier coverage foundation and i would powder a lot more and not do a dewy skincare routine because your foundation won't last as long if your face is dewy so i'm gonna apply apply i'm gonna brush in the other side with this brush which i believe was from primark 
so it should be slightly slightly more coverage on this side and sorry if you can hear the tv at any point jamie was upstairs yeah i just thought i would show you like that you can apply it with a sponge and a brush and the difference between the two it's probably the kind of foundation that might be preferred to be applied with a brush just because that coverage is a little bit more considering it is quite light anyway like a light coverage and i will talk about shades and everything oh, just went on that side naturally oopsies i can actually see like comparing the side this side is definitely a little bit less coverage than this side but overall it looks pretty similar so i'm now going to conceal my concealer i'm using is actually from the body shop i'm going to be doing a whole video about this concealer anyway so i won't show that but stay tuned for that video which is coming in a few days or next week or something like that so yeah i'm gonna just do that now off camera okay so i just did my concealer so it does like make the coverage look a little bit better usually i would put a little bit of it sorry my hands are orange because i tanned yesterday um but i would oh my god <laughs> um i would usually put like a little bit of a lighter concealer underneath my eye as well just to brighten um but i forgot to bring it down so I can't be bothered. Um, but I am going to powder. I'm going to use this. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 Transparent. And I feel like this also adds a little bit of coverage, even though it says it's transparent. But it just mattifies everything. I literally like to make everything matte because the shine will come through naturally throughout the day anyway. So it's good to just make it matte. Now... done that now it's fairly matte obviously it's coming through a little bit shiny in places in fact let me just no we're looking we're looking okay so this is what it looks like with powder on so yeah it still obviously some blemishes will show through and everything because it isn't a full coverage foundation it is definitely medium but it's looking okay at the minute i always have to finish off my makeup for me to actually judge everything oh by the way i probably should have said that i have actually been using this foundation for the past week and i like to use it a fair amount before i film these videos otherwise obviously it's just a first impression and your first impressions can change so i will give you like my overall opinions at the end of the video but this is still like a whole review and like a whole wear test and everything so i'm gonna go and do the rest of my makeup and then i will come back and i will show you what it looks like once i've done all of my makeup and everything and yeah i am sorry this lighting isn't the greatest because it does look kind of different in different lighting as you can see yeah this lighting here actually that is nice that is much better that is much better lighting the only reason why I don't film here is because I don't like the way that it looks like this. But then I film here because I like the look of these. Actually, that is terrible. I should have definitely filmed here. Never mind. Or I could film like that. I'm just thinking about next time I film. But anyway. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do my makeup. Then I'll come back and show you what it looks like and i'll also talk about the shade range and everything like that as well anyway i've done the rest of my makeup like this and put lip gloss on literally like bronzer highlighter everything like that and this is what it is looking like so it kind of pretty much looks like what my normal foundations that i used to use would look like anyway just a slight bit less coverage but with all the powders that i put on and everything like that like built up it doesn't really make much difference to me and looks pretty much the same the only thing that i would say is different with this foundation than other ones is that my skin does look a lot more dewy than it normally would and a lot more glowy but i'm okay with that i'm fine with that it's not really a problem but i will do a wear test throughout the day where i don't touch my face and i don't add any powder or any product or anything like that i'll just leave it how it is and i'll show you how it looks every few hours just a few check-ins that kind of thing now i am going to really quickly just talk about the actual product like i said i would i've got their website up because i think that would be you know much better so yeah like i said this is what it looks like there's 30 mil in here which is just a standard amount of a foundation that you would get 
This, like I said, is in the shade Coyote Blossom. When you go onto the website, it's not in order. So it's not in order of what the shades are, which is quite weird. You would think that they would start light to dark and then that was how it goes, but they've not, they've mixed it up. It's completely random. The lightest shade, I think, is number 10. So I actually think this is the second lightest shade, but I'm not 100% confident. Oh no, number 10 and number 12. And then this one, I think. I think that's how it goes, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so I believe they've got 16 shades, so that's okay. They've got more lighter shades and darker shades. Obviously in these days, you need to have shades going, you know, a, a complete spectrum. Brands like Fenty Beauty and stuff like that have got like four, over 40 different shades because everyone's skin is so different. People have got really light skin, people have got really dark skin and also you've got people with like yellow toned skin, red toned skin, cool toned skin, olive, all that kind of thing. So I think the range is okay and it's fairly decent for if you've got light skin but if you've got dark skin they've not got like the best range i'm not gonna lie it costs 16 pounds so i did actually get it discounted because i had a discount code or whatever so i used that and i did get it discounted but it is usually 16 pounds which i think is a little bit pricey considering like for drugstore prices i would put the body shop at drugstore because I have had foundations that are five pounds that are better than this one and the one I'm talking about is the Wet n Wild foundation. I think it's Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. That one is literally amazing. Really, really like that one and it's definitely better than this foundation and it's only like five pound. So in comparison to that, but I think they price this based on the rest of the products that they've got on their like in their range and everything like that. But I do think that in comparison to that, that this is a little bit more expensive but in comparison to the really expensive foundations out there it's not but i'm just going to kind of put that out there so it's one of the more expensive foundations that i personally use because i really like drugstore drugstore brands because i know that when it comes to makeup you can get really good makeup for cheap prices you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup at all so yeah really like this it does have spf 15 in it and i do wear an spf every day anyway so sun protection however it is good to have it in a foundation as well just to extra like protect your skin and everything like that and it is quite handy so yeah that's this and also on the back it has this little pot and if you see that that it's a little pot here it has the word uh, the number 12 on it and basically what that means is that it is is not going to go out of date for 12 months so you've got 12 months to use it so that's a year i run out of foundations after like a month or two so that will not be for me i will not be needing that for a year so i'm just going to have a quick look on here so there's 16 shades up to 24 hour moisturization does that mean that you wear it for 24 hours or they're expecting you to wear it for 24 hours because i literally wear makeup for like six to eight hours not 24 hours you shouldn't wear makeup for that long um it's a light to medium coverage that's literally just what i said um, at the beginning of the video a semi matte it is nowhere near matte <laughs> oh my god it says fresh face that's what my brand's called it says fresh that's hard to say fresh faced finish yeah that's what my website's called i'll link my website in the description i do sell skincare products and i've got um some things that i'm going to be adding on the website very soon so stay tuned for that um but yeah it's a semi matte it's definitely not a semi matte foundation it's a dewy foundation because even when i haven't done like my glowy skincare or anything before applying this it still looks quite dewy on my skin in comparison to other ones so i would definitely not say semi matte i would say dewy 100 percent it says it's suitable for sensitive and dermatologically tested skin so if you've got sensitive skin i think this will be okay for you and yeah i think that's pretty much everything it does say it's got some reviews so let's see if it's overall rating is a 4.5 out of 5 star rating personally i would rate this foundation based on like what i like out of a foundation a 3.5 to 4 star because of the price and also because of the fact that it's light to medium coverage but it is nice like it doesn't go streaky on your face and it does blend in really nicely so i'd probably go with a four star rating actually to be honest um because it is quite nice one in terms of the fact that it looks quite nice on the skin and you can build it up obviously which i could have done i could have added another layer but i didn't um so yeah most of the reviews are good okay somebody put i'm gonna read the bad ones because the good ones are just 
you know, nice foundation, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the bad one said, I decided to buy this foundation due to the current COVID-19 restrictions. I thought I would try something different. Firstly, I waited around two weeks to receive my package. Obviously, that is because of coronavirus. Um, so it's not to do with the, the actual foundation. But it says the foundation is thick. It clogs on the face. It's so patchy. It was awful. Right. That I don't think that is to do with this foundation because I've tried loads of foundations and this one actually doesn't do that. I think that is due to the skincare that she puts underneath her face, what she applies it with, all that kind of thing. Like, or if her skin's dry, maybe she's got dry skin. I would say she probably has dry skin to be honest because that's probably why it's gone a little bit patchy. But I like full coverage for going out. Um, well, if you like full coverage, then don't get a light to medium foundation. So that's probably um, not the best review. Um, they sent a different colour with somebody else's. I was recommended this by Body Shop staff after I said I had combination skin. If you're ever recommended something by a staff member in a shop, obviously they're trying to sell you products. So you've got to bear that in mind that they're not necessarily going to be like looking out for you. They're just wanting to make sales. So you just have to bear that in mind. It says it blocked her T-zone and not good for her. If you wear a primer underneath, it won't block your pores, especially if you wear a primer that fills in your pores, like um, some of the primers from Benefit and also one from the Body Shop, the Skin Reviver, it fills in your pores before you put foundation on so it won't go into your pores. So maybe she didn't use a primer. Um, but yeah, they're just some of the negatives, but obviously the positives are just, um, nice foundation sort of thing like not really anything specific um but yeah so that's everything for this foundation it does actually say on their website that it's a bestseller so there we go but yeah that's everything for this foundation so far and everything that i've read and the review and everything i'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day so just probably two or three just to see how it's looking i'll do one in a couple of hours after just getting some tasks done and then i might do a workout later on and show you what it looks like after my workout and then when I go to take it off. So yeah, see you in a few hours. Ow, I just literally smacked myself in the face. Okay, first check-in of the day. I've had my lunch and what else have I done? I pretty much had my lunch and then I've literally just gone for a walk with Jamie. We bought a naan bread, literally a massive naan bread. I'll show you, um, this is so random, but yeah. Got it, cause I'm gonna be making a homemade curry tonight. Look how big these, is that just me or is that really big? I'll, I'll only be able to have a quarter of one of those. Um, also, brownies. I bought these brownies off this girl who obviously made them, donated the money to the NHS and yeah, they look so good. I was buying them for a while, now she's going back to Mexico. So unfortunately, this was my last order. She actually gave me two free brownies. These ones are white chocolate and they're my favorite. This one's M&M's, this was a free one she gave me. She also gave me a free Oreo brownie and then these two are Nutella. And then I also had two Biscoff ones. So yeah, just got them set out. But in terms of the foundation, it's looking fine. It's still kind of dewy, but it's actually not that dewy considering I'm kind of sweating a little bit because it's, you know, pretty, down warm outside but it is still you know as you can see not completely matte or anything but yeah it's holding up quite well so i'll do a check-in in a little bit also i just got this the postman brought it around it's radiance spin spin care system play on the word skincare um it's a spin care system from du duval i don't know but it's american anyway and they sent it to me to put in a video which i'm going to be filming soon so expect that Sometimes I don't accept things to be sent to me because um, if it doesn't relate to my channel or anything or I just don't want it, then I won't accept it. I'm very into skincare, so I was like, I will do this for free and do a review. And yeah, very happy with that. I think it's quite expensive. I don't know, but we'll have to see if it's good or not. Um, but yeah, so expect that video soon. But yeah, see you in a few hours to do another check-in after I've done a workout because basically all I'm going to do is edit what I've filmed so far of this video, then hoover the downstairs and then do a workout. So see you then. Okay, hello. So I thought I would show you how it's looking now. Oh, sorry, the kettle's boiling. If you was wondering, I'm about to make a curry and a cup of tea as well. I don't know why I meant to make a cup of tea. That's why the kettle's on and I'm also making a curry. Um, but 
I've had my makeup on for a while now I've done a workout and all the stuff that I listed before it seems to be coming off this side of my face however I did put my face on the floor at one point because the workout I was doing was half an hour and it was arms and I'm really weak and I did, my face went on the floor um, in, in a like a slow way not like a douche way so that's probably why that happened but it's interesting to see um, that these blemishes are coming through so it's one of those foundations that doesn't necessarily last all day but if you saw me out and about you wouldn't be thinking oh her foundation's coming off would you like it's just a natural kind of way and it's absolutely fine so it's not a problem to me but yeah I just thought I'd update you so I'll see you in a couple of hours after I've eaten my evening meal and before I take my makeup off just to give some final fi final thoughts I was gonna pronounce final like final with a th final thoughts that's what I was gonna say so it's now a lot later on and as you can see the majority of the foundation has rubbed off my face and I would like to admit that that's probably because I was touching my face like this so that kind of proves that if you do touch your face the foundation is just going to come straight off whereas there is some foundations out there that doesn't do that like Estee Lauder Double Wear stays on quite well um, but most foundations will come off gradually if you touch it but this one obviously is only a light coverage to medium so it will come off and my eyeshadow is coming off on this side so it just shows oh no I remember I was cry laughing because we was watching something funny and I was cry laughing so that's probably why this side's come off so yeah very uneven but let me give you my overall thoughts where is the foundation I think it's over here oh, here it is I've got it overall thoughts obviously I have been using this for like a week now we're using it every single day I like things that I like about it is I like that it looks natural when you put it on as you would have seen that it does look quite natural blends in nicely there's no streakiness to it and I find with a lot of like lighter coverage things that they actually do kind of have almost like a moisturizing effect in them which this doesn't have or at least it you know blends in really nicely and it does layer up if you do layer this foundation up which I have done before um, so yeah I like that so it does build up quite well and the only thing that I'm not so keen on is the fact that it is a little bit too dewy considering I do have oily skin and you know I don't mind that so much but yeah not great um, but I think some people would like that hello hello, hello. Um, also the fact that it doesn't last like really really long in comparison to some of my other foundations considering it did say something about being 24 hours yeah 24 hours this is not a 24 hour foundation this is an eight hour maximum foundation um especially if you don't touch your face so yeah i do really like this and it does have spf in it which is really good so yeah positives it also does have spf in it but I think overall my rating out of 10 for this foundation will probably, in comparison to others that I've tried, would probably be a 7 out of 10. I would rate a 10 out of 10. I think Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation is a 10 out of 10. Maybelline 24 Hour Stay is close to a 10 out of 10. And um, I'm trying to think of any others. They're just my top sort of two. So this is like a 7 um, out of 10. But, you know, it might end up in a favourites video. It might grow on me. I don't know. But there we go. So that's my little foundation review. Every time I try a new foundation, I always review it. So that's my review and wear test, as you can see. Definitely need to be putting on my face mask tonight because of these spots. I mean my face mask off of my own website because it's a good one for spots. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe because I am going to be filming this kind of video showing you how the concealer looks and everything like that from the body shop. It's I think it's the fresh nude concealer and my opinions on that. So that video is coming in like a week's time so say subscribe for that. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.